So today let's learn about two flow state from web method development perspective. One is map and second is branch. How we can use both? Let's see from a demo. Let's create a let's create a separate package for this. OK, so let's create a separate package for those activity. So if you wanted to create a package, how you can create a package? Just click on the uh, server or anywhere and create a new. OK. So choose this option package from the new. So when you are giving a package. For demos. Finish. So now flow demos is available. Package so base practice. From the package. Whenever you are creating a package, first folder of that package should be the same name as a package. For demos. Okay. Once you are there. The next folders inside the main folder should be few of them like services, utility, map, talk, those who are risk uh, schemas, those folders you need to you need to keep respective element inside that. For example, if you are creating a doc folder, so whatever document we are creating, we will keep inside that. Let's create. So whatever the flow we are going to create, we will keep inside this. OK. So this is a small demo of package creation or package structure creation. Util. Whatever the small services which you need. In your mapping services. That you can create. Inside. In util function, so let's create a first demo of map. Yes, we are selecting create a flow service. OK. Here while creating any element while creating any element. The naming convention can follow as. Camel case camel case is mean what what it means the first uh, first word character should be a small second word character should be a capital here is map first word second word is demo so what i write here m small and d is capital so i'll click next i don't need to change anything i just finish so how you can see from where you can drag and drop uh, flow steps so here you can see the small arrow if you don't see this or some something happen to your perspective, then you go to here, go to Windows. Go Windows. Then click perspective and reset your perspective. Once you click reset the perspective, it asks the permission, grant the permission, then your perspective will get reset and everything will be back to normal. OK, so now you go to this small arrow. It whenever you are Cursor goes on that it shows show palette. OK, now your palettes are here. So these are the flow state. These are the few of the services which is it shows here and a recent use whatever the you use recently it shows here. So when you click on that. It collapse. If you wanted to expand, click again on that. Click again, it will again open. I don't want this. See now you don't see anything. Now what do you want? Now you want the flow step. So you click just click on the flows. Now you wanted to use this map. OK, click on the map. Now you have selected that map. Come here. You can see the arrow has something attached. Uh, cursor has something attached here. So you can paste or just click there or you can drag and drop. You can drag and drop. OK. Otherwise, the third option is 
right click on the white space, empty space, and here is the insert option. Here, this is the third way you can add map here. Okay, I have added two map here. Okay. So any service, any service which you which you are gonna create should have some input and output. Input the data which you are receiving, output once the processing done on that data what output you are expecting okay so what we are gonna take first input is addition we will do addition of two number okay we have taken two map so let, let's let's take go to input here here also the same way the palette if you don't see the palette this is small arrow Take your cursor on that. Click here. It will show. You can maximize, minimize this by while click, single clicking on it. Okay. Now you wanted to take input here and output variable here. So I am taking first input number one, and again one more variable that I wanted to as an input number two. Okay, now what I wanted to do after doing some logic using these two variables, number one is one variable, number two is very variable. I want to generate output. And for output, I will give a, any name you can give, any name like this, any name you can give as a output, but some meaningful name should be there. Result. So I gave a result as a output variable that this three is nothing but the variables. They are they don't they contain data and variable of string. In web method, we only have a string object, document, and a list. Either it is string list, document list, or object list. So okay, so where, where you entered input output structure of your service inside input output option here. Now come to the tree. Tree is the place where you can select and do what you wanted to perform on that flow. So now I wanted to drag this up. I'll just come here. Whenever the cursor, cursor become a two arrow bidirectional, I'll just drag while clicking mouse button, I'll just drag it up. So now I have these two options. So what I wanted to do from this, what I wanted to do from this is addition of this two number. I'll remove this uh, map as of now because I don't need as of now. Okay, I will do. Why operation came here? Surprising. Are we taking operation? No. It is not correct. OK, so. I wanted to use transformer. I can use here directly int also, but I will use a transformer same way. The palette is here. Show palette. Click on that. Here also you can see lot of things are available. Whatever you wanted to use. If you wanted to use variable, click here. If you wanted to use string, click on that. Click again, it will collapse. Click on the math. Add int. I have just click on that and I can drag and drop here the same way which which we added a map we can add here. So now you are in. You let, let's let's take float instead. OK, anyway, int is fine. No issues. So what I want to do, I'm I'm calling another service inside that inside transformer under map. I'm calling one more service. So that service has a two input parameter which I have. One is this, another one this, and I wanted to assign a value. I just click and drag. Don't uh, release your click button. Okay. Click on that and drag. Let if you if you know that your mapping is wrong, then just click on that arrow and press delete button. For example, by mistakenly you join this to number two, which is not correct. Then what you can do? Click on this 
line either you can press delete button or you can remove this from here. OK, the second way to uh, assign the value. Single click on value, then single click on the destination variable and then click on this. Click on this uh, symbol. This will be visible whenever you click two variables. If you click two variables here, it won't become. It should be selected this and then this. OK, same time. Same time you can you can. Assign the output to any variable or all variable available. This also possible. OK, so you can or you can also. So let's 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 remove this and what it is. I just I just wanted to show you one more thing here. OK, here you can create one more variable. OK, so how you can create a variable either right click. Insert. String, this is the one way. Another way. Come to the palette, click on the string and click. Again here, so this untitled variable came. I wanted to give a name and I, what I will give you name. Result. Multi. So I'll do a multiplication. I will do a multiplication. OK, so what I wanted to do multiplication there is addition of two number into. Two, that's what I, I will do. So what I wanted to do is I will take a. Addition of these two into multi reason as of now because I wanted to use those variable. Next I can use a result also no issue, but just wanted to issue now after this map one more interesting part. OK here. What I have done addition. Okay, next map I'll take. Here we will do. Multiplication. OK, so now once you click here, you will see one more thing that inside your output you have number one, number two result and result multi that we created. But you don't need number one, number two here. How you can remove those unwanted variable? This is one more option here in web method to drop a variable. So the variable won't available in the next step. What it is? Here you came. You have. What you want result and multi result. These two you wanted as a final result. OK, you don't want num1 and num2 because you already use them. Your purpose of num1 and num2 has done your code. Your logic is. You don't need any more after this, so then click on that in the output pipeline. Click on that and here is one more arrow or a uh, yellow colored button says drop selected variable. Click on that. Once click on that, you can see on the left the arrow got assigned. It is drop number one. Again, you come here. You're dropping another number. So both the number got dropped. Now you come to the next map and you don't see those variables anymore in the further map. Now you have only result and multi. So now what you wanted to do here in this multiplication, you wanted to do multiplication of a result multi into two. So now again come to the palette. Go to the math. And. Uh, multi ints. OK. So multi int what we want to do. We will take first as a multi uh, result multi and second we want to multiply by two. Done and result we can assign a result on same variable again we are taking input as the same number output as the same number or same variable sorry okay i just drag and drop i will save right click on this or you can use this option also the green button 
to run come here run as a flow service. So addition of 10 plus 10, a result will be 20 and multi result will be 40. This is expected output of this map. Do you see result 20 and result multi 40? One more interesting thing here, guys. Output of this slow state. What we have, what we have said is only result. Output of this flow. We have initialized only result variable, but still, but still we have a multi a result multi is available at the end. The main reason is because we have at the last or wherever you have created or initialized, we have not we have created new variable and that has not dropped. If I drop this variable, it will vanish. It won't came. If I drop this variable, it will not came, but I don't want to drop because I need this. This is a simple map demo. So now let's talk about some property of map. So scope. What is the scope? OK, so so what whenever we came here, we realized that. Pipeline inside pipeline, these additionally. Uh, two, two variables were there. We dropped it before. So what is the scope? Scope is nothing but you wanted to limit. Whenever we see a document that time you. Better understand about scope, but just a definition of a scope or use of a scope is you can limit. Pipeline. Before going inside that map, so if you have a document and under document, you have a 10 variables and if you are adding that document on this uh, uh, in a scope, then only those document will available under map rest will not available. Okay. Then timeout. Any action you are doing, any action you are doing here, you, what you are doing, uh, multiplication. For example, some complex application uh, or uh, some time-consuming uh, service you have calling from here. Then how much time you wanted to spend or wait until this option, uh, this uh, action. how much time this action should perform and if that is not being done in that time then what should happen this is what here i just wanted to show so whenever you click on any of the property you will see one line here that is nothing but comment of the flow step come here scope definition of scope how you can use and what is it means it it shows here so some time Specify how long in seconds the step should run. OK, if, if time elapses, the server will raise uh, rise and exception after step complete. It means it means if you give a 10 here, it means wait for a 10 second. To complete this transformation. If your transformation is not completed within 10 seconds, it will still wait until it get completed. Once completed after 15th second, it will give an error that. Uh, service exception error OK. And level. Level clearly says that it is used only on. Branch or exit. Exit exit is one of one more flow step that we can see later. But right now the next step what we're going to see is the branch. So. So on the label on the label. We can use label for branch. Or exit. So let's let's talk about the branch demo now. OK, I'm just saving this. So let, let's create a. So before 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 I go to the branch i wanted to add one more thing here you can call multiple services inside transformation transforms multiple services you just need 
uh, same services twice uh, n number of time. N number of time you can call services here. You just need to provide an input. Whatever input you wanted, but meaningful, logical. It's just not because I'm I don't have anything here. I'm just doing some mapping. And create a variable if you don't you don't find a suitable variable to hold and that variable can use in further close steps. Okay. One more important point about a transformer here. Now you created one, two, three, four, four services. One only two, but three are repeating. So total four services you are using. When this is getting executed, you don't Pay attention. You don't know which service will call first. In transformer, you don't know which service call first. But if you are calling here any service, then you know the sequence is first, second, third, fourth, and so on. The sequence will be the same the way we have added here. But here, we don't know which sequence or which flow service or a transforming service will call first. OK, that is a small uh, thing that I want to put in here. Now let's let's move to next demo about branch. Branch demo, I will just finish this. OK, so branch demo. So first we will do branch on. Condition, so let's let's take a branch. I have a taken branch when you click on the branch, there is a property about branch. So what it says. So apart from scope, timeout and label, we have two additional property. One is switch and one is evaluation label fall. Evaluation label. So evaluation label. When you click on the evaluation label, you can now read what it means here. Okay. So if you wanted to use a condition, you need to select this as a true. If you wanted to use as a switch, then you need to select false. And a variable that you wanted to use on uh, for a switch purpose, you need to give that variable here. Okay. So first we will see condition. Okay, so. For condition, what we can do addition multiplication things. OK, so for that what we'll do. We will take an input. So what our purpose is if user right if if input is a plus and given two number, I have to add those number. If someone enter multiplication and give two number i should multiply with two numbers those two number multiplication is the result operation where the, where we, we will get uh, what need to be done num1 num2 and The result. Or let's create output. Whatever the output will be there, we will have. So now, now we will take branch cannot be a work like only a branch. The way we did map inside map, whatever we branch need a map or any target, any target which we can evaluate. Now I have taken first map inside inside a map or inside a branch. OK. If you if you do like this. OK, map is below. Sorry, branch is below. Map is below branch. It means it is a complete separate apart from branch. It will not consider what branch we wanted to use, so it should be under how you uh, how I added inside that by using these options. 
move left, move right, move up, move down. Based on that, I have just added inside under branch. So now I wanted to use okay, operation. I just copy this variable name. Make sure even though you are, you have a spelling mistake or any capital anything inside uh, while giving a variable name, same name should be used while giving a condition. So what condition you wanted to give? How you can give a condition? Percentage. Variable name percentage equal to. Single equal to also fine or double equal to also fine. Then. Yes. Second. What we will do. Is percentage operation percentage equal to. Multiplication. If out of those three, I will use here label. Label has one more uh, fantastic feature that default. Okay, kind of if if operation is plus, else if operation is multiplication or star, else do something that it means that we don't have a, a operation to do anything. So in in addition. Uh, I'll just do add int. Value will be output. Then multiplication. Output. Let's run this. When I'm running, it will automatically get saved. So operation is uh, multiplication 10 into 10. It should be 100. Output is came as 100. Let's taste about addition. We'll keep the value same. We'll just add plus sign here. And it gives a 20. No, it is not giving 20. Is that we have not uh, why it is not coming it is because I have not given output value to. This value, this variable I have not assigned to output. That is the main reason it is not coming. So I just. Correct my mistake. OK. So it can happen. We forgot or we thought we have added or something like that. Anything can happen. So output came. This condition, this branch used as a condition. So here I'll create a new one more demo. Branch demo two for a switch. So here again, we'll we'll do the same example. We'll, we will take a same example. OK, so to save a, save my time, what I'll do is I'll just take. Output. I can do that. I can copy and paste also. Output. OK, I don't want to copy the code. I can do that, but let's let's create so you can understand easily. Now I'm inside the branch. Uh, here and I wanted to use as a let's create a one more very uh, map under. Branch is not a below branch inside a branch. I'm creating this one. I'm creating this one. OK, so on what happened? On branch, I want to use branch as a switch. So what I have to do, what I have to do is I have to use 
evaluation level false and give a variable, keep a variable on a switch. So now what which variable I have? So. Which uh, variable I should use? I have a operation. I have a number one, num two and output. Which one I should use variable as a switch? The variable which perform some action or you wanted to check that variable for value. OK, so num1, num2, I don't want to check. I want to use those to do some operation like multiplication, addition. And output, output is the result after doing action. So I won't, I can't use this. So now the last one remain is operation. So whenever the user adds some operation, I want to check what operation he gave. Based on that, I want to give a switch condition. Let's take operation where variable operation variable as a switch target value. So whatever operation will come, whatever operation value given by user while running this service will be considered as a switch. So let's come to the map and use the same level if I'm adding plus. If user add a plus, if user gave a plus as the operation, then this map will get called. If user gave multiplication, this map second map will get called. If apart from plus and multiplication, is there anything then the default should get called? Default should get called. So let's do addition here quickly. So this is divided. Um, multiply. I'm just populating result output at that operation is not pop, uh, supported. It means I can support only multiplication and addition. Apart from that, I don't understand anything. So for example, let's take a default case first. For example, in operation, someone says add int and he gave a 10, 10 and expecting 20 result. Will that happen? No, the reason is it says operation is not supported. We are expecting only plus and multiplication. So here is a plus and it should give me a 20 as a result. Right click run. It should be a give me a 100 as a sorry. 100 as a result. Now one more thing that I wanted to, to do here. I want only result or output. I don't want anything else. So what I can do here, come to the default. If default case, then what I want to do, I want I wanted to drop those variable which option. Now in this case, I don't want anything of this. So I just select all three at a time and drop those variable. Now this variable will not available. I came here. Okay. I just do the same again. I just drop those variable. I came here. I just drop those variable. Saved it. I'm running it. Only output is showing right now. If you come here, if, if, if you are adding one more map step here. Below some, some tomorrow you wanted to do some additional thing and you are you wanted to here you can do like this so come here. Label is divide. Label is divide and do. Dividation here it can happen.
Okay, tomorrow you can add more condition inside that. Let's try divide option. Result is one. Ten by ten is one. So these are the three demos. One is map. We can use branch as a condition where we wanted to use evaluation level true. Then branch as a switch. How we can use those? Okay. So let. This is what about complete map branch. There is a two two operation uh, in branch. One is switch and one is condition. That's it for this session.